I haven't been in the gym for a minute. Like, well, I haven't worked on my upper body in a minute. I've been healing because I've been doing calisthenics and shit. Bro, I learned how to do a muscle-up push-up in, like, less than two weeks, bro. And I guess I, I, I'm moving too fast and my body can't keep up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's insane. Bro. I fucking love it. But it's just, like, it just shows that, you know, this body is more limited than, you know, us as a being. You know what I'm saying? This body is just stuck in this, this third dimension. It can't keep up with how fast I want to move. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're so much more than what they want you to believe, you feel me? They, but they, they feed you these external things. They feed you, like, you know, the Bible. They feed you Google, for example. That's just like a saying in this matrix. Oh, what does the, what you know, what does Google say? You know, ask Google. You're not supposed to ask Google, but the first thing, the first answer that should, like, or the first source you should go to is the universe. My nigga, the first source should be God, but instead they want you to they feed you all this external all this other external things all these things in this third dimension this third dimension is limited bro i remember i did that interview and i said you know i don't know if i dropped this one but it was like oh uh do you believe in god it was like an interview question and um i said yeah i believe in god but i feel like there's no point in trying to understand god you know what i'm saying because in order for you to create something like for example the lego movie i feel like that was literally an analogy for god you know what i'm saying like that nigga that built that whole lego set built that whole city he was outside of that dimension he was outside of that realm and that's why he was able to tinker with it he was able to move things around you know what i'm saying in order to create something you have to be outside of that dimension you know what i'm saying in order for you to be the creator of that god is outside of the dimension of our thinking bro. we're stuck in this third dimension there's no way we're ever going to like be able to understand god it's not something i can fathom and it's nothing none of y'all can fathom you know what i'm saying but it's just it's outside of our realm of thinking you know what i'm saying just know that there is a god know that there is a, you know a higher being a higher source and just live by that you know what i'm saying we're all connected but that's why i'm in nature right now bro. i'm working on my root chakra right now i'm trying to you know what i'm saying like it's in order to work on your root chakra because once it's called the root chakra you feel me like think about it bro it's literally the root of all your chakras, bro. If you don't work on your root chakra, if your root chakra is not balanced, there's no way for you to reach the other chakras, bro. I believe it's, it starts at your root, then you got the sacral, then you got the solar plexus, the heart chakra, throat chakra, then you got your third eye, and then you got your crown chakra. That's the highest, that's enlightenment, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's goal should be to reach, you know, enlightenment, to be to be to reach actualization, the best version of yourself. You feel me? I keep trying to preach y'all. I keep saying I'm a god. I say this on my music all the time. I say this in my videos and all the all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stop cursing. I, 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 mean, I feel like curse words is like this is a filler word. You know? God invented the idea of creation. Yeah, if he created everything, you know we are all like we are all God. We are all one. You know I mean? If God created all of this, that means we are all God. It's like we are the cells that make up the entire body, which would be God in the whole universe. I mean, that's how this, that's how this works. Everything is connected. Everything has a vibrational frequency. Everything is energy. You know what I'm saying? Anything living has an energy frequency. So that's why when like that's why certain animals are on like you know they're, they're lucky. For example, you know, like for example, I believe the Chinese they believe that frogs are lucky, but that's because they maybe you know. When you're on that frequency of luck, when you're emitting that type of energy, maybe that's the same energy that a frog, you know, vibrates on. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you're going to run into a frog because you're on its frequency now. You see what I'm saying? So, like, the universe is constantly talking to you. Everything is consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So, you just got to pay attention. Everything, everything is, did you hear about December 21st? Yeah. I'm telling you, this year is crazy. I've never seen a solar eclipse, but I, I believe that's what it was. Right? It was a solar eclipse. That's what it was going to be. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, yeah, I've been working on my root chakra, like I've been saying. I keep skipping around, I'm sorry. I kind of like just, whatever comes to my mind, I just speak it. But um, yeah, I've been working on my root chakra. So like, I was talking to, uh, I just love angels, bro. You know, like I love angels. That's why I love being around women. I love it because I just want to be closer to God. You feel me? That's why I keep working on myself. I'm trying to reach my higher self because me reaching my higher form, my higher self, that is me getting closer to the source and getting closer to God. That's why I like being around women because I, honestly, I feel like God is a woman. You know, like so keeps saying, you feel me? Like Mother Earth, all this. You know, God is a woman, bro. You feel me? Like it's just, I don't think it's a man floating in the clouds, bro. Like I really feel like God is a woman. You feel me? So I love being around women because that feminine energy, that creation, that that creative energy, all that that they have embodied in them, I feel like that is God itself. You feel me? 
and it, it's just sad that so many people disrespect women nowadays, bro. Like, I don't, I don't believe in calling a woman a thought, bro. Like, sexual and sex is sex, bro. Like, I don't, I just, I don't know, bro. Like, y'all, y'all be kind of mutting everything, bro. I saw this like video of like that this man was like trying Cardi B and say, "Oh, you're a thought. You don't love yourself because you f men to get money and shit like that." But it's just like, bro, like she's just using you know what she has to her advantage bro like what else do you want her to do you feel me like that's their power you women created seduction bro you feel me so what's wrong with her using that power to get what she needs what she wants i, I just don't believe in calling women thoughts bro like, i don't believe in none of that shit bro that's why i be saying i love thoughts i love you know horrors and all this other shit yeah, because they, there's no such thing bro it's just women you feel me like it's just sex bro like it is deeper than that. Don't get me wrong. It is deeper than that. When you're when you're having sex with someone, you're sharing sexual energy. You're literally interchanging energy. You feel me? So if you have sex with someone that has trauma, that's depressed, and all this other shit, has anxiety, you might start to feel that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So be careful who you have sex with. But at the same time, I just feel like if I have a partner, I'm gonna be honest with you. I believe in polygamy. Like I want multiple wives. Like once again, I'm trying to get closer to God. I'm trying to become a God myself, bro. Right? Like I don't believe in limiting myself, and I feel like having one partner in monogamy is limiting myself bro like I, I don't i know that might sound crazy that might sound misogynistic to some women but like that's just how i feel but i don't believe in limiting myself in any aspect of life you feel me the only thing that can limit me bro is this physical realm bro i promise you bro that's the only reason i haven't been in it bro i promise you i'd be doing some crazy shit right now with my body right now bro. some calisthenic shit but i had to take a break because my body couldn't keep up with me bro this third dimension couldn't keep up with me bro i'm literally a god bro i'm amazing Anything I put my mind to, I can do. And it's because I literally say I can. I don't put limits on myself. You feel me? I say I can do anything I put my mind to. So anything I do put focus on to, anything I put energy into, it always comes to fruition, bro. What are you doing in the jungle? I'm Tarzan, nigga. What you mean what I'm doing in the jungle, bro? You're supposed to be in nature, bro. What you mean? Why you not in the jungle? That's the real question, nigga. Why you not in the jungle, nigga? Why you don't look like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I want all my niggas to be gods, bro. Like, be in tune with nature. You can't be a god if you're not in tune with nature, bro. Like, it don't make sense. God created all of this. You know what I'm saying? God would be out in the jungle. Hey, if, okay, let, let's let's go to Jesus. Because I feel like that is what everyone's goal should be. To be someone like Jesus. To be enlightened and to fear nothing. And to just be joy itself. You feel me? To be the light for anyone that, that comes in your vicinity. That should be everyone's goal. To be like Jesus. Do you think Jesus would be scared to go up to walk up to a, a tiger? No. That nigga would be Tarzan, nigga. That nigga would walk up to the tiger and pet that shit like it's a cat. A fucking cat, nigga. Like, I'm like, that. I think that should be everyone's goal. You feel me? You have to be in tune with nature in order to become a god, bro. If you're not in tune with the earth, how are you going to get the blessings and all the other things that the universe has to offer if you're not in tune with it? You feel me? This goes back to the root chakra. In order to get to the everyone's always asking how you can open your third eye how you gonna get to your how you gonna open your third eye and the rest of your chakra is out of balance nigga you can't do that nigga you know what i'm saying you have to work on the root it's called the root chakra because it is the root imagine a plant bro you can't grow up if the plant has weak ass roots it is not going to be able to grow as high as it can it's not gonna be able to grow as as, as you know as strong and as tall as it's supposed to because the roots are, are weak, you know what I'm saying? That is the, the groundwork, bro. You have to make sure you have a good groundwork, a good, you know, foundation in order for you to ascend and go to the other chakras. So I've been working on my root chakra. And that starts with no fat. You can't ascend until you work on your root chakra. And that's going to start with no fat, bro. Because the root chakra is literally the hip down. So that's mostly your sexual energy. Your sexual organs is a part of your root chakra, bro. So if you're... Your organs are out of whack, you know, you're always, you know, you can't control yourself, bro. You have to, every single day, your shit is out of balance, bro. You have to balance, you have to master that. You're not going to be able to move up, bro. You can't open your third eye. You can't open your third eye if you can't even master that, bro. See, look, the root chakra, when it's balanced, you're connected to earth. Well, look, look at it. A nigga is in earth right now, nigga. A nigga is in earth, you feel me? Like, you feel me? A nigga is in nature. You're, you're connected to earth and you're more in tune with your body, you feel me? Like, you're just happy to be alive. You're happy with your existence and everything like that. But when it's out of unbalanced, you tend to be more depressed because you're not happy with your existence. If it's unbalanced, also, you're going to feel anxiety. That means it's too open. You feel me? Um, it, Maybe you start projects and you can never finish. That means it's also, it's too open as well. You, feel me? you have to make sure it's in balance. It could be too open and it could be too closed, you feel me? So you just got to make sure you find a good balance by it. So if you, like, need to heal your root chakra, for example. This is also how I found out about foods and, like, uh, 
like how the I always ask the question, how would the ancestors know? Like, okay, I'm sick in this area. How would they know what foods to go get? You feel me? Like they didn't have science, they didn't have none of this, but you don't you don't need none of that. You know how they know? They knew the colors of their chakras, right? So let's say, for example, okay, so to work on your root chakra, because the root chakra is red. To work to heal the root chakra, all you have to do is eat red fruit, red foods. So for example, strawberries. Uh, raspberries tomatoes you feel me stuff like that that's going to heal that because that is on the same frequency and if you can't handle your basic emotions you're not going to be able to handle anything else bro you know your shit is out of whack bro you're gonna, like i said you're going to feel depressed and stuff like that too bro you have to be happy with your existence happy to live bro you have to be present i started writing stuff down every single day I, I, i've been meditating and um what i would do is like i would put a mantra in my head um, cause I, I watched Anoli Chopper, shout out to him, you know what I'm saying, it, sounds, it seems like he's woke. Okay, I'm gonna explain how I meditate first. So I've been meditating, and then like, as I meditate, I'll have a mantra in my head because I think, the main thing holding me back has been money. So I was just like, okay, I'm trying to attract abundance, I'm trying to attract wealth, you know what I'm saying? So what I'll do is in my head, I'll just say, I am a money magnet. I attract money as much as it attracts me. I just keep that mantra in my head, cause it's so, it's so easy, you know, just to keep that mantra in my head. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it keeps me focused a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, I stay focused. I just continue repeating that mantra. And the more I repeat it, the more it gets into my subconscious, bro. And, like, I'm going to continue on how I've been manifesting, like, insanely fast. But, um, I, I, I'll meditate. I'll sit down. I'll, I'll repeat this mantra in my head. And while I'm repeating, I'm a money magnet. I attract money as much as it attracts me. While I'm repeating this in my head, I'm envisioning all the things that, you know, I want to see in my life, you know what I'm saying? So I envision seeing, um, a, like, hella bread from Google AdSense, for, from YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to make this a source of my, you know, you know, a good source of, you know, revenue for myself, you know what I'm saying, YouTube. So I, I want to start, you know, being more consistent with it, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like to be able to preach, to be able to talk, to enlighten the youth and do stuff like this, just talk, bro. Like, God gave me the greatest gift ever to talk, bro, so... To be able to make money just talking and enlightening people, I think that's amazing, bro. Like, I'm helping the world while I'm monetizing or I can live off of this. That's lit. That's what Jesus did. That's lit. That's what Jesus did, bro. Like, you feel me? That's what I'm trying to do. You feel me? So, like, like I said, while I'm repeating this mantra in my head, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll envision, you know, maybe $1,000 in AdSense or something. You know what I'm saying? And, or I'll envision 100,000 streams on Spotify. I'll envision my... Sh um, like my entire store sold out you know product of society you know what i'm saying i'll envision me just handing my mom ten thousand dollars you know what i'm saying like because especially when i when i envision that one like me just handing my mom just ten thousand dollars i don't know why ten thousand dollars but i just always wanted to like give her a big ass stack and then just like you know just be like here hey, it is for you you know what i'm saying like just because you feel me anytime i envision that i always get like this like this feeling in my stomach you feel me it just makes me excited. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel joy. I feel joy when I when I envision this, and that emotion is helping the manifestation become even more powerful. You feel me? So like once again, when you're meditating and you're, you know, I repeat this mantra once again, and then I envision things, and me envisioning these things is generating emotions, and those emotions are helping me manifest what it is that I'm trying to manifest. You know what I'm saying? There's different types of meditation, but this is what I've been practicing recently. You feel me? And I think it's really working. I'm gonna explore other things too, and uh, I listen to a frequency. That's uh, about abundance, you know, uh, three, 432 hertz of frequency. That's on, you know, that's, uh, that has to do with uh, abundance, you know, attracting abundance and wealth. And then after I get up, you know, I, it feels amazing. Like, honestly, like, I'll, like, while I'm meditating, I'll be, I'll smile. Like, I feel myself smiling and it feels good. You know what I'm saying? That joy is helping me meditate. It's helping me, bro. Like, it's helping me manifest those things. And I'm telling you, I've been manifesting some crazy, because, okay, also, I also been um like while I'm saying I'm a money magnet, I attract money as much as it attracts me. While I'm while I'm saying these things, uh, I'll envision forex, for example. All I've been doing nonstop every single morning. I've been listening to Q's course. I don't know if you know Q Banks. Shout out to Q Banks. I'm listening to Q's course, and then I've been trading. I've been you know I have a real account and I have a demo account. But right now I'm just focused on the demo account, just like on test. And uh, you know one thing I'll envision is that me waking up checking my phone seeing profit smiling and then going right back to bed you know what i'm saying and anytime i'm in business once again i feel joy because like i'm like me in business i'm feeling the feeling i would actually feel if this actually happened and then eventually it happens this this morning i woke up i, I put in a trade i could have put it in a real account but i didn't i put in the demo oh 
I caught like over 60 pips, bro. You feel me? I just closed the trade. I was like, yo, this is lit. You know, I'm gonna be content. I'm not gonna be greedy because I've been greedy in the past and it's, it's fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? So, but literally me meditating, me envisioning this, me um, you know, how me saying these things. Okay, okay. And then I, so I meditate. I repeat. I'm a money magnet. I attract money as much as it attracts me. I envision what it is that I want. You know, all the things that have to do with abundance, have to do with wealth. I envision those things that I want to see in my life, you feel me? Um, I feel these feelings, I generate it, it helps me manifest it, you know what I'm saying? Now the entire time I meditate, I'm, yeah, I'm in a state of joy, you feel me? My energy is just feeling amazing. I'm, I'm meditating in my patio where I have my plants. I'm, I'm growing a garden, you feel me, in the back of my, 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 my patio, you feel me? Like, it's lit, you know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm working on my root chakra. If you want to work on your root chakra here, you got to be in nature, bro, you feel me? So, start a garden, if anything, you know what I'm saying? Be on NoFap, you feel me? Um, move your body. You feel me? Because like uh, a lot of people that with the unstable uh, root root uh, chakra, they'll feel depressed. You feel me? So move your body. You know, just dancing or going on a bike or you know, just doing stuff like that. You know, it's gonna get you out of that feeling. You feel me? Um, you can also once again meditate. Meditate and wear red. Bro. Why do you think I'm wearing red right now? I'm working on my root chakra, bro. I'm trying to move up. Bro. My whole goal literally is just to create more gods and goddesses, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell everybody we're all gods, bro. We're all gods, bro. Like, they're trying to distract you. We're all gods, bro. They're trying to keep you humans, bro. I, I think there's a difference, bro. Honestly, I think humans is people that live in this matrix. People that li live in this matrix and are content with it. Those, that's humans to me. But gods are people like Jesus, bro. Like, Buddha, bro. Like, we, are, we can all reach that state. It's all about taking the steps to get there. You know, they hide on it. They, they don't teach you this in school for a reason, bro, because they don't teach you how to live. They teach you how to be a good slave. You know what I mean? Like that's literally what they do. They don't care about you. They just care about getting more money and getting more power. So instead of giving them all of that, giving them all your energy, why don't you work on yourself? Why don't you sit down and meditate, you know what I'm saying? And gain wealth and power for yourself. Because we're all powerful. We're all in tune with nature. You know what I mean? There's nothing greater than nature. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what man does, bro. You cannot beat the earth, bro. Like, the coronavirus, I honestly feel like it's nature trying to, it's a balancing act, you feel me? Anytime things go out of balance, you feel me? Something has to come in to create balance again, you feel me? And humans have been overpopulated. We've been, we've been destroying the earth, you feel me? Because, and once again, that's just a reflection of ourselves, you feel me? Um, for example, if you have a messy room, it's because you're internally messy, you feel me? Your brain looks like that, bro. You feel me? And it's the same thing with the earth. Why do you think the earth looks like a mess? Because everybody as a collective is f***ed up in the head, bro. Because they programmed everybody to be like this. But um, let me get back to, uh, to my routine. Maybe some morning. I've been on... Um, so after I meditate, after I'm, I, now I'm in a feeling of joy. Now I just feel good. You feel me? I feel great. I'm still listening to the 432 hertz beat of abundance and then I go grab a pen and pencil. Do not, like, if you want to manifest things, you have to write it down. You have to, or you have to write it down, bro. Because, um, you can write it in your phone. It's not going to hit your memory, bro. When you write it down, when you write what you want to manifest down, I'm really trying to stop cursing. I'm really trying to stop. When you write what you're trying to manifest down, it, um, it just hits in the memory a lot deeper. You feel me? But when you write it in your phone, it doesn't hit in your memory. You don't remember it like that. You remember it like that. Because now you're you're, you're relying on this phone. Once again, you're, you're being a slave. This this phone is the matrix, bro. It's a part of the matrix, bro. Stop relying on it to remember things for you, bro. You can do all of that. Everything this phone does is just a reflection of what the human brain can already do. So why are you focused? Why, why are you making this thing do it for you? You feel me? So Don't write it in your phone. If you want to manifest things, write it down on a piece of paper. I've been doing this every single day. What you should do, what you should, what you should do if you're trying to manifest things is you should, um, I have like a certain order I do it. Like, so first of all, you should start off by just writing stuff down that you're grateful for. Just things in your life that, that have you already have that you're grateful for. Because you writing this down is going to create certain emotions because you're going to just feel great. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm thankful for my beautiful mother I'm, I'm thankful for my strong father just saying things like that things, things you're actually thankful for you're going to feel emotions it's going to generate emotions in your body and once again those emotions is going to help you 
it's going to help you um, manifest anything that you want a lot faster, bro. That you need emotions to manifest things. So you either are trying to keep you depressed because they don't want you to feel your emotions. But once you're tapped with your emotions, you can do anything you want to do. Jesus was in a, a state of joy constantly. That's why he was able to do anything. Because with joy, you can do, you can do anything with love. You can do anything when you're in that type of when you're in that type of state. So the goal is to be in that state at all times. So you start off when you're trying to manifest things. You gotta write it down. And you start off by writing what you are thankful for. So I'll say, oh, I am so happy and grateful for all of my, oh, I am so happy and grateful now that I have such a strong fan base. You know, I'll just write something like that, that down, you know what I'm saying? And I'll just feel good about saying it, you know what I'm saying? You, you write it in a present tense, you know what I'm saying? Things that you are thankful for. I am so happy and grateful now that I have such a strong fan base, you know what I'm saying? I am so happy and grateful now that I make a living off YouTube. I am so happy and grateful now that so many people listen to my music every single day, you know what I'm saying? You write it down in present tense, and then while you are, you know, saying all these things that you're grateful for, now you start adding in things that you want, but you write it in the same format. You write it in present tense, and because you write it in present tense, your, your subconscious is going to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? The more you wait, I do this every day. Once again, I meditate, I get in a state of joy and bliss, and then I go grab a piece of paper, I, I grab a pen, I feel like ink is a lot better, you gotta write in ink. And then I write all this down. I start off with what I'm thankful for. And then I start writing down the things that I, I want, you know, in the same format. I am so happy and grateful now that my body is healed and stronger than ever, you know what I'm saying? That's what I write down, because I was scared. I was like, yo, I don't know if my body's gonna heal again, bro. Like, I look at this fucking camera, I'm like, yo, I'm like Tarzan, my nigga, like, it's lit, it's lit, you feel me? So, but like, you write it in present tense, and once again, when you write shit down, it goes into your memory, it actually goes into your memory, it goes deeper into your memory, the more you write it down, it's gonna go deeper into your memory, the deeper it gets into your memory, the deeper, it, the faster it's gonna get to your subconscious, once it gets to your subconscious, the universe is gonna do anything in its power to make sure you get anything that you want. Or anything that your subconscious believes. So if your subconscious believes that you are wealthy, you will forever be wealthy. The universe is going to make sure that you are wealthy, no matter what. I lost my job, y'all. Y'all know that I lost my job, bro. God, I love that job. I would say it every day. Y'all remember? I, mean, I don't know how I dropped that video, but I love that job. Dog. I, oh, I did. In the Chick Fil A mukbang, I said I was talking about it. I love that job, nigga. I love that job. I said it every day, and I still lost it. And Honestly, I was, I was watching this reading. This is a girl named Queen Cup. She does uh, readings for every zodiac sign. So if you're like, interested in what's going to happen in your month, just look up Queen Cup, look up your zodiac sign for this month, and she's going to talk about it. So in Scorpio, she was like, oh, you know, you might get laid off. But you realize that it's not a bad thing. It's actually a blessing because now you're able to focus on the things that you actually want. You're able to build the businesses that you've always wanted to build and grow. That's exactly what I'm doing. Actually, two days ago, I remember I was doing the same thing. I meditate, get in a state of bliss. I start writing what I'm thankful for. I start writing while I also writing the things I want. I remember I uh, snippeted a song on live. It was uh, called Nighttime. I don't know if y'all remember it, but it's gonna drop soon. Y'all was like, oh, this shit. Oh, you gotta drop this, you know what I'm saying? I remember while I was writing all the things I'm thankful for, and then I was all, once I got to the point where I was writing the things I want, I said, I'm so happy and grateful now that the nighttime music video has come out exactly how I wanted it. It's just like maybe two or three days ago I wrote this down. So I wrote this down, I said, you know, I am so happy and grateful now that the night, the nighttime music video has come out exactly how I want it. Remember, at this time that I'm writing this, I never, I didn't, I didn't do the music video yet. I hadn't even started planning it yet. I write it down and I just start working on the video. You know what I'm saying? I started hitting people up. I confirmed yesterday with this guy. He, he said, all right, I got you. I'm going to bring three McLarens. I'm going to bring a Lambo SV, and I'm going to bring you a Rolls Royce. I'm like, what? All I asked for was three McLarens, bro. Like, dead ass, bro. Like, it just happened. Like, I remember in the vision of how I want the music video to go through, I was like, I need, I need these McLarens. You know, so I need these McLarens. I get these McLarens. I confirmed it. He's like, yeah, well, I'll be there. Just set a date and let me know, and then we'll be there. Okay, like, hey, that's lit. Yes, last night, what I did is I went and I, I went out to Miami. We just got our locations. We got everything we needed. We got where we're gonna drive with the cars. We got where we're gonna post up in the beginning of the video. We got everything done. And now I'm seeing this. I'm like, yo, everything. I wrote this down. That this music video, it came out exactly how I wanted it. 
everything that I want for the video is coming into place literally a day or two right after writing this down. I've been on no fat for a minute, so my manifestation power is going to be strong as hell right now. You feel me? It's the same. I'm telling you, write it down. Our writing, so if you want to manifest the same thing, just write it down. Just write it down. I'm a mad procrastinator. You know what I started doing? I told this man not to call me, and he calls me. I told this man not to call me, and he calls me. I told this man not to call me, and he calls me. Bro. Like, I don't like when people don't listen, bro. Like, that's all right. It happened. You accept it. And you move on. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. That's it, bro. I'm telling you, y'all gotta like, read the power of now. I'm telling you, read the power of now. It tells you about a lot, bro. Like, don't let your emotions control you, bro. There's, a, there's essentially only two emotions, bro. There's joy and then there's pain. You feel me? And pain is anger, which is what I would have just felt right now for this this nigga calling me when I told him not to call me. I said, I, tell, I said, I'm gonna go on live. Do not call me. Do not interrupt my live. He calls me. Normally I get angry, you know what I'm saying? Normally I'd be like, yo, what the f you know what I'm saying? But what is me getting get, getting angry gonna do about it, you feel me? It's not gonna fix the problem, you know what I'm saying? But that's what happens with a lot of y'all, bro. Like, something happens, it triggers you, and then you sub you start thinking these thoughts, and you subconsciously, you become an emotion. You become that emotion, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're subconscious, and then that's when people do crazy things. They're like, oh, I was, you know, I was, it was in the heat of the moment, I was emotional, yeah. You let that emotion control you. You have to make sure you are present at all times. When you are in a, a negative emotion, it's because you have subconsciously identified with it. Bro. So I just move on. I'm like, hey, life's gay. Accept everything. You know what I'm saying? You have three choices anything, anytime anything happens. You're in a situation in life that you don't want to be in. Or that you just, you know, maybe you, you just don't care about. You know, like, you can either remove yourself from the situation. You can change the situation. Or you just accept it. And that's what I just did. I just accepted it. That's what you do, bro. Don't become your emotions. Don't let your emotions control you. I forgot what I was talking about, but I was on live for a minute. This is lit. I think I'm going to go in nature and talk to y'all some more. I ain't going to lie. This is fun, bro. I fuck with y'all, bro. Like, I really, I want y'all to know that. Bro. Like, I really love y'all. I really do. Like, it's amazing that I can sit here and I can talk to y'all. I can't wait till this live is like 100,000 people every time I come in. A million people every time I come in. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had the clout 6 9 had because I would, you know, do good things. I would clown and spread negative energy. Pissing everybody else off. You know? This is what it is. We don't get there. You know what I'm saying? I really felt with y'all. I want y'all to know that you are gods. You are goddesses. You can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Do not forget that, bro. Look in the mirror and say, I love you. I promise you, bro. You can do anything you want to do, bro. I don't care what it is that you want to do, bro. I don't care. Good or bad, bro. Whatever makes you happy, do it. 